Hi, hello, what is up? Again, it's a vlog. Previously on... Wait, what do I call it? My vlog? Ay, basta yun. I recently bought a new desktop monitor, and that's actually because I plan to buy a Mac Mini. My laptop crashes most of the time, and I was about to start college as well. So, I decided to invest for a new desktop, and I chose an M1 Mac Mini. My money goes bye-bye on that month. I bought a lot of best setup, and it all arrived on different days. So first off, we have the Mac Mini. I waited for about a month for it to arrive. And another thing is that I am not an Apple user. I've had an iPad and an iPhone way back in 2012, I think. And I've never used an Apple product ever since. Actually, I was scared when I first tried it because the screen kept flashing back and forth when I connected it to the monitor. I didn't know if the Mac was the problem or the monitor. Turns out, it was a cable. So another thing added to my purchase. Next, we have the accessories, which actually arrived earlier than the Mac. So I've already been using it for a while. Here we have the keyboard. I'm sorry, but I know nothing about mechanical keyboards. I just bought it because of the hype and it looked aesthetic. And I know you can change the keycap, so it fits me well because I, I get bored easily and I like changing things up. Next is a USB hub. Well, I have nothing to say about this. Okay, next is the mouse. My setup looks quite like a gamer setup since I'm using a mechanical keyboard and a gaming mouse. But I don't really game. And lastly, it's a webcam. I use it for online classes. I just recently started college. I'm a film major, but most of my classes are general subjects, so it's not that interesting. And it's still online. By the way, the videos are from my second week of college because I was still adjusting to everything during the first week and I didn't want to add vlogging to the amount of things I'd have to think about. If I'm being honest, I struggle with online classes. I mean, there are pros and cons to this situation. Let's go with the pros first. Well, it seems like you have a lot of time since you're just at home and classes are not every day. And so, if you know how to manage your time wisely, then you can even do things other than schoolworks. Another thing is that you can wake up later than when you actually have to go to school. If you're like me who joins a class straight out of bed, then that works. Now, here's why I find online classes hard. The thing is that what got me through all these years in school were actually my friends. I was lucky enough to have good friends back in junior high school and senior high school. You see, I'm not the friendly type of person who makes the first move and it's hard for me to get comfortable with anyone I've never talked to in person. Another thing I struggle with is my attention span. I get easily distracted so I usually use my phone or start spacing out. Even when it was a face-to-face -face setup, I would mostly start spacing out if the lecture is too long. And I don't really study or review for quizzes and exams. I mostly rely on what I remembered or heard from the lecture. But since there are more distractions for me during online classes, it's really hard to get anything inside my head. The thing about having a lot of time is that we actually end up doing nothing or in my case, I end up getting anxious if I feel like I'm not doing anything. But I also prioritize resting. 
So, to anyone watching this, it's okay to take a rest. Take your time. Just maybe learn how to manage your time so that you don't cramp. And I know it's hard to keep everything organized, but just try as much as you can in your high school. I also don't have the best works, but my grades are alright. I don't like stressing myself with school. I submit what I have to submit and that's how it works. I even graduated with honors. Remember to keep it chill and take it easy. Bye!